All right. <laughs> I'm back. Back in SnowRunner. Well, I'm hoping that this goes okay. I haven't played this game for a long time. Welcome, everybody. All uh, seven of you who are here. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I appreciate your um, the fact that you're here. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I think basically all that's going to happen today is um, I'm just going to kind of take on the Yukon just because I figured it would be fun to, um, yeah, uh, try and try and drive on this map a little bit. Uh, I have the full game um, <laughs> and a couple of the DLCs. I don't have all the truck DLCs, but it just means that uh, I have this thing here, which is the DLC vehicle, which I'm kind of interested to try because it comes with a crane with a lot of its bodies. So I just figured, I don't know, why not? <laughs> Let's see how it is. Sounds pretty good. Um, I'm wondering, and this is a very key thing, uh, is this game way too loud or is it too quiet or anything like that? Please let me know. Um, I have it turned down quite significantly, so I'm hoping that it's, it is quiet. <laughs> <clears throat> I remember on some of the past streams I've done of, of this game, we, we happened to break the game just a little bit by driving the Azov across a river. Um, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> that, that was a lot of fun, so, I don't know, probably not gonna do that this time, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Quiet? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> I haven't touched this map at all, um, and obviously there are a lot of quests and things on it, stuff that is just kind of strewn about for us to explore. Uh, but yeah, a, a decent amount of it is actually just open um, right from the get-go. <clears throat> How am I? I am uh, admittedly pretty tired, but I figured like... I don't know. Today I just kind of wanted to hang out and play play this. Um, it's been a busy week and it's obviously not over yet. I'm noticing that there are a couple little houses here. But yeah, it, busy week for me, not over yet. Um, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> basically busy at work. So I'm trying to, <clears throat> I'm just trying to get through that and then I can focus on other things. I, I've been really uh, preoccupied with my job this past week, so I'm looking forward to being clear from that as of tomorrow, and then I can start working on some stuff I actually care about. <laughs> okay, so Brian, you're asking what color should you paint your 68 Shelby GT500? Those cars look really good in blue, uh, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> Go to the Mountain Watchtower and do the race there. There's a race? Mountain Watchtower. You know, it's kind of hard to tell which one's the Mountain Watchtower when they are all uh, blanketed with darkness, and any of them could be mountains, but it could probably be this one. It seems to be a high elevation. Either way, um, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just figuring that uh, we should probably drive the map a little bit, see how it goes. Have you gotten the APC? You know what? If, if you watch my SnowRunner series, then uh, you have seen uh, pretty much everything I've done in this game. <laughs> Although I will say I still have a lot of money uh, just kind of left over. Oh, that's my phone. Oh, turn, 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 turn. <laughs> thanks for thanks for joining in on the stream. Appreciate it. Um. I really like this game, but I kind of stopped playing it. Um, as soon as I finished that series, I stopped playing and I was focusing on other things. Um, I've, I've been mentioning in a couple of my videos that I don't really play these games outside of... Uh, oh, <laughs> Well, there's a, there's a new truck right there, or possibly just for a quest. Um, but I don't really play these games outside of making videos for them, so... For me, it's like... Uh, <laughs> almost therapeutic. Oh, it's really funny that this is 12 foot 6. Um, just because of the 11 foot 8 bridge. <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's a reference or not, but 
I just figure, I don't know, I'm going to drive around a little bit. We can always recover if, if things go south because this truck does not have the best wheels on it. Are you good at spray painting? I am not particularly great at painting in general. So, uh, yeah, apologies. I can't give you any tips on that. I have painted an RC before. Um, I, I haven't told you guys about my small RC collection. But, uh, oh, this is a... This map is really nice, my goodness. Uh, but I haven't told you guys about my RC collection yet. <clears throat> maybe one day, maybe one day, as an IRL video. <laughs> okay, come on, truck. I'm, I'm liking the, uh, the 8x8 here. This thing is pretty darn awesome. What do you personally prefer, superchargers or turbos? I don't know. Generally, um, I think superchargers are cool, but... Uh, Turbos are uh, probably a bit more realistic. <clears throat> the For my Infinities, superchargers are definitely uh, one of the easier ways to go, but you make a lot more power if you can <laughs> bring out the money for a turbo kit. What kinds of RCs do I have? So I have a Jeep Wrangler. Um, it's an Axial SCX-10. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Um, I have a couple of Tamea uh, cars, including a Drift Sylvia, um, and I have a Nitro, uh, all one tenth scale. Um, I have an, I have another Nitro vehicle as well, that is hyper cheap. It's Exceed RC, um, which is like eBay special, <laughs> but uh, that's kind of how I got into Nitro stuff. That is my collection at the moment. Do I have any plans to stream on March seventeenth? I don't even, I barely plan the week in advance, to be honest with you, so um, no clue there. No clue. Uh, we will find out, though. I've been streaming pretty much every Tuesday. I had to skip last week because I was getting one of my wisdom teeth out, <laughs> so it wasn't pleasant to talk, um, so I, I kind of wanted to, uh, I kind of wanted to skip that day just to, just to rest, <clears throat> but I'm feeling good today, feeling like, ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> but I'm just feeling like, I don't know, just feeling like driving. Oh, is it broken? Oh no, it's just loading. Okay, I got worried there for a second. <laughs> Do you like hot hatches? Yeah, definitely. Um, if you're talking about stuff like the Focus RS, if, uh, if they existed in North America anymore, I'd definitely be down with that. <laughs> Are they gas powered? Um, so if you're talking about RCs, only one of them is nitro powered. This game is stuttering a lot as we get into this zone. Oh, it crashed. Oh man. That's a rip. Oh man. You know, I was hoping we'd have a trouble free day today, but isn't always the case. That's okay though. We'll just restart and we'll uh, we'll attempt to not go that way. <laughs> we will we'll avoid going that direction just for now, um, just to see what happens. It may be, maybe it's just that spot. Does Snowrunner have a VR mod? I have zero clue. <clears throat> Nitro RC like two hundred dollars. I don't know. I think the Exceed RC one that I have was about two hundred and fifty Canadian dollars, and then um, the the Jeep that I have. I, if you guys want to look up how much those are, um, you just go on the Axial website. But they're like six hundred, seven hundred dollars. Not cheap at all. Uh, but I bought that before I got my first car, so I've had it for many, many moons at this point. Many moons indeed. Do I like the Focus ST? Yeah, I do. Especially the tangerine scream color. Big fan of that. <clears throat> big, big fan of that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I also like the uh, Fiesta ST as well. I really w was thinking about getting one. I was thinking seriously about getting one. Um, and then I ended up buying a house. <laughs> so there goes the Fiesta ST budget. Um, <laughs> Canadian National or CP Rail? What? I don't... 
I mean, I, I live in Canada. I do not know anything about trains. <clears throat> one eighteenth. That's pretty... Wait, one eighteenth would be small. That's really small. Also, what is going on over here at this construction site? I'm going to take a mad shortcut. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm not going to take a mad shortcut. Maybe I'm just going to get mad attempting to take a shortcut. No, don't worry, I, I'm not exactly an angry person. You probably have noticed. Mm, low range? <laughs> Cry for help? This appears to be a location. Like, there's actually... There's a... Um, <clears throat> there's a new quest over there. Or a drop-off point. Oh, you know what? I mean, the name of the game is Snowrunner's Patience. And I would be good if I hadn't have run up against that rock. We just need better wheels. We need much, much better wheels. You're Traxxas fanboy? Man, get out of here. Traxxas? <laughs> no, Traxxas isn't bad. I just find Traxxas is really, uh, really expensive. So for me, it's not exactly worth it. Um, I do actually have one Traxxas part, uh, and that is uh, a, the servo, the steering servo in my nitro car was like $80 because I had to replace it because it broke and it's Traxxas. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Ugh. You can disassemble these, yeah. I think I was reading, actually I was reading through the patch notes because I was like, man, I am way out of date on this game. And uh, I was reading about how you can take apart buildings to use as materials, but it seems kind of strange that you'd be taking apart like partially assembled houses. I just, I don't know why you would want to do that. Um, it seems like you would want to be assembling them, not disassembling them, especially in the Yukon. But anyway, I guess we can try and do something. I just wanted to see kind of what was out here. I'm just kind of driving the road to see what's going on. Uh, maybe we'll try and head over to Cabin Zone um, 1 over there. Just to see what's up, and then I guess we can probably do a real quest or something. And obviously we're going to need some real tires as well. No guarantees that anything gets done today, to be honest with you. No guarantees. <laughs> am I even facing... I am facing the wrong direction. Well, that's fine. We'll just uh, give her a turn. This Azov is... I think this this is an Azov, right? This is Bandit. I don't know. Ooh, that's sketchy. That's real sketchy. <clears throat> I'm kind of, uh, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to skip night, because otherwise it'll be way too dark for you guys to see anything. Ooh. Is slow, SnowRunner is too slow for you? I don't think you, uh, you got into, uh, the right game there, then. This is a slow game very much on purpose. It is made to be slow. I'm one of those people that can take the slowness. Um, sometimes it is frustrating, but uh, to me it is it is part of the fun. <laughs> hey, Baja Blast, you're a supporter now. Appreciate it. That's, uh, that's a channel membership thing. Invest in my tires. Don't worry, I will, I will. I have a lot of money in this game. Uh, mostly because I sold everything that I had, <laughs> and, um, nice. Yeah, so I'm going to, uh, definitely going to invest in my tires before we attempt to go too far. Obviously, we'll be able to go faster if we have my tires. Oh yeah, no, this game, this is the kind of game where it takes several hours to do one quest, uh, and the quest is something dumb, like, deliver wood here and it takes you like five hours to do <laughs> uh, i mean if you if you kind of oh that must be that camp station uh, but if you kind of cheat a little bit maybe maybe it's not cheating but if you if you want to go a little bit faster uh let me make sure before i get in this water i'm going the right way but if you want to go a little bit faster one of the ways to do it is just get one of the uh, trucks that's a little bit easier like there are a couple of azov trucks that are just ridiculously uh, 
overpowered in comparison to others and if you want to have an easier time you can just buy those and use them uh, they are very strong hey thank you for the donation as well baja blast appreciate it you didn't join sooner <laughs> hey don't worry about it i uh i'm just happy to have people who are who are interested in supporting the channel just like you and also i figure we should go out on a bit of a bang with this truck one will run over this tree and then two, I'm going to attempt to run through this water, if I could run over the tree first, that is. Um, oh, jeez. We're just digging a hole now. <laughs> There's no way out. Showcase judging is complete. That's a, that's a good thing. Alright, let's, uh, let's do some winching from the back to where is it there it is this thing and forwards and I just pulled down that tree well it's probably for the better anyway uh, yeah we're, de we're definitely stuck <laughs> we'll just have to wait a bit <clears throat> don't worry I'm kind of down with it. I'm just down with being stuck here <laughs> Yeah, that taiga is just super strong. I, um, I'm going to recover, but I'll show you guys what I was talking about. Um, the trucks that I have are the same ones that I had in the previous uh, maps. Basically, I have this uh, Kol Kolob. Can't pronounce the Russian names. Apologies. Yar, extremely strong. This taiga is super OP. And then this Azov is like, mm, beautiful. Uh, this seems to be pretty strong as well. It seems to be pretty darn strong. And just good at, uh, I mean, anything that has <laughs> automatic locking uh, 4x4, or in this case 8x8, and locking diffs, like, you know it's going to be good. We just have to get some big tires on this lad and we'll be, we'll be set. Um, but yeah, I guess we may as well upgrade it, just to see what's going on. We've got no engine upgrades, but there are a few of them around here, or at least there's one of them around here. No upgrades there, no upgrades there. Okay, this this is where things matter. Uh, mud tires, yes please. I don't remember the exact... Um, like, somebody did a test to see what the, like, friction coefficient of each of these things were and the specific, um, like, materials, but I'm not going to be that specific. We're literally just going to pick the ones that say mud, and uh, we'll go with those. I would like to get a high power winch. Um, I know this is costing me a lot of money, but I don't really care. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to pick our accessories. I mean, the the truck repair supplies seem pretty pretty necessary, but we'll just kind of pick the accessories based on what's necessary. And I think I'll be, I think I'll be good. All right, let's try and do a quest. <laughs> That's looking a little bit beefier now. There we go. We're ready for the Antarctic. Yeah, no, I, I saw that Reddit um, thing many, many moons ago, but I have forgotten. <laughs> I have forgotten what it was. Now, uh, we've got some quests. North Bridge being one of them. Um, dump truck for dump truck. Uh, whatever that happens to be. And then we also have these ones here. Long logs to warehouse. Oh, that's pretty far. Oh, that's in Salmon Peak. That's already exiting the map, goodness. So we can get cabin stuff from here and deliver it to the hangar. That's pretty far too, man oh man. Well, I guess, um, <laughs> like what the heck is this? <laughs> is that a road? Uh, we'll have to figure out how to navigate it. Maybe, hold on a minute, What what is this dump truck thing? Let me drive into that and see what's going on. Oh yeah, no, we are, we are a little bit thicker than we used to be. This is a big lad now, and my parking brake was on. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we, we are uh, we're much, much better off than we used to be. 
and game please don't do this okay there we go goodness that's a donation right there thank you childish sin take it off an epic jump <laughs> i agree with your logic here um Oh, the reward for this is that. Man, I need that in my fleet right now. <laughs> we need someone to get a new disassembled quarry truck over here. We'll put it together ourselves, and you can help yourself to our old one. Just don't forget to fuel it up. Sounds good to me. Let's do this one. I really want that truck there, uh, just because it looks like it's OP as heck. So <laughs> it's also the one in the thumbnail. Ooh, this thing is this thing is beefy now. I, I feel like we're ready to take on oh my goodness the lights. Holy <laughs> Okay, we got we got like baby lights here, real man lights right here. That is beautiful. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. Uh, <laughs> just watch out for wolves, okay? Just watch out for wolves. All right, all right. While we're on this um, this quest here, is that way up there? Oh man. Well, I guess that's what we're doing. Uh, well, you know what? Even if this is not the right way to go, let's uh, let's just go there anyway. <laughs> I'm just gonna. We haven't explored this way at all. And it's going to be really difficult to cross without the bridge. Oh, I didn't think about that. Man, is this bridge out? <laughs> you know what, we're just going to have to go this way then. We will go this way and we shall explore. And uh, I'm going to skip to the morning. Um, we're still going to have the fancy lights, obviously. But uh, yeah, we will hopefully... Hopefully be able to... Uh, get into the daytime soon so we don't go blind out here and get attacked by wolves and this bridge is thankfully not out so we're good to go here this gets us on the other side of the continent and then hopefully we can just kind of scoot over over the mountains over to that place we'll see how that goes though <laughs> Okay, that looks like a disaster waiting to happen. I don't know why anybody would willfully walk, like drive into the water like that. Um, so I'm just going to keep taking the road and see if that works. <laughs> no, th this lad is not particularly quick. Uh, you might have noticed it is... I am in awe at the size of this lad, but I am not in awe at the speed of this lad. It is incredibly slow. However, we are definitely exploring some new parts of the country that I live in that I also have not been to, I, well, th this part of the country at least. In terms of like actually just going around Canada, I have not been very far from where I live, which is kind of dumb, but... Is this all that this goes to? Ah, oh, man. Are we going to have to do some like ridiculous crawling to get over there? Is there a way out of this? There does not seem to be. <laughs> oh, come on now. Let's discover this just so we have it on the map. It is a concrete block place. Okay. You were late to this dream, your device died. Hello from Mer America? America! <laughs> no, I, most of you guys are from America, statistically speaking. If we if we check out my statistics, then uh, that's how it is. Jamaica, Dubai. Goodness, what time is it where you live? That's always a popular question. You know, that is an interesting question as well, because like personally, I go to sleep pretty early. Uh, so for some of you guys seeing seeing as your time is like 1 or 2 a.m. and I'm like what <laughs> on a weekday <laughs> but uh, yeah 721 wait what time is it for me is it 821 no it's still 721 721 here boys 
Oh, that's rough. Okay. I'm going to attempt to do some disaster-based uh, exploring here, often called making my own pathway. 621. Yeah, see, that's not too bad. <laughs> this looks like a pathway to me, so I figure, you know what, let's just take it. And, oh yeah, that's definitely a road. A road in quotations. And it appears that dangerous water level is going to be a problem for us here. EST gang? Yeah, no, this is the negative five, uh, negative five, what, what's the proper term for that? <clears throat> Resident Florida, and it's funny that we're in the same time zone and yet we are ridiculously far away from each other, but it's cool that that's the way things work. And we are absolutely going to be crawling up this river now. Um, no questions asked either, we're just going right on up there. I really need, want to open the map to make sure we're going the right direction, but at the same time, I don't think that's wise. Oh, snow. I mean, I guess that's kind of fitting for Yukon, but I figured that the mud tires would be good. I didn't think we'd need chains, but here we are. I think somebody, I saw somebody ask a question, Star Wars or Star Trek. Um, I guess we can break into that discussion eventually, but personally, I actually like Star Trek more than Star Wars. Um, no, I'm not a Trekkie. <laughs> As a, in the standard way, but I have watched pretty much every Star Trek movie and a lot of the show, um, the various shows in fact, thanks to my dad who's also uh, interested in Star Trek. Watched them all when I was a kid. But they were old when I was a child, so um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not exactly a grandfather yet. Oh man. Oh, come on now. <laughs> Slippery rocks, is this what it takes? I should have brought chains. <laughs> That's the most exciting thing you can think of. Ouch. Do you think SnowRunner is better than MudRunner? I have not played MudRunner, so I can't tell you, but I would say that SnowRunner is probably better. Um, Oh, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, our quest has ended, but how far did we get? Not really that far. Oh, wow, that's painful, actually. <laughs> Are you in your 20s? I am in my 26th year. I will be 26 this year. Honestly, I feel like a bit of an old man. But, uh, yeah, I'll be 26 this year. Eye racing. Oh man, I've kind of screwed myself and I don't think I'm gonna go in, um, oh it's not even available in your country? Man, you know, I've been considering switching up the, um, like the join button stuff with Patreon, but I don't know. We'll see about that. Ten year gap? Yeah, see, it's weird to think that there's a ten year difference between us yash play but at the same time it's like i don't know i don't even remember when i was 16 that's uh i guess that's how life goes we're gonna have to recover this uh, we're not gonna be able to save it except by um except by obviously going and getting something to save it <laughs> uh, which i don't exactly want to do but we could you're 30 turning 32 See, I think that my demographics are like mostly 18 to 18 to like late 30s, somewhere in there. It's mostly like the demographic of this channel is like 99% guys. And then most people, I forgot the exact number, but most people within like the early adult slash like under 40 age. But most people, it seems, are older than... Um, Older than like 14, 15. We're, we don't have dreams audience here, okay? <laughs> Currently working on your project car? See, that's cool. I Don't worry, I 100% I understand if you don't donate or can't donate. I, I don't expect donations. 
I, I just, um, like, obviously, I definitely appreciate it, but I'm not out here like, please donate. I need to feed my children or something like that. I'm just trying to beg for things. You definitely see people doing that, but I, I find it kind of <laughs> just, just a touch shameful. You know, I had this really bad idea. I'm going to drive across right there um, because, oh, you know what? We're using the wrong truck, though. Hold on a minute. We got to grab the Azov and we're going to drive across. Uh, there we go. I'm going to store this and I'm going to pull out the uh, water crossing beast. And um, I just want to quickly see if anything's changed for it. I don't have mud tires, but we do have off road. And we should probably put a high power winch on it. With the, uh, I guess, wedge cap, I don't think that makes any difference, and just nothing else, and we should be able to just kind of fly on in. This truck is also very slow, uh, so get ready for that. We're going this way, then this way, this way, and then boom, right across, and then hopefully somewhere up there. That's the plan. <laughs> people hate your generation wait are you a zoomer is that what you're trying to tell me come on <laughs> no don't worry i don't i don't specifically hate any generations um i do not harbor any uh resentment towards people of various ages <laughs> some people like to blame other people for their problems but the reality is that we all got our own problems to deal with oftentimes it just takes a lot of changing of yourself to fix them not other people <clears throat> yeah for those of you who are unaware this truck is basically amphibious uh it is excellent in the water for some reason and i have used it to cross the entire uh one of the maps i think it was the michigan map uh, just by oh no we're getting your sick ramp aren't we this is not intentional um oh that's bad <laughs> oh we're going though i'm gonna make it i'm gonna do it we're going through the fast water, boys. <clears throat> Low range, and pray that we make it. Yeah, all you can do is pray. If you want to see the driving view, <laughs> it looks like, like this as we steadily cross the river. You know, I thought this was going to go worse. That actually went extremely well. That was, that was really easy. <laughs> Yeah, no, we, de we definitely, so I think in terms of like talking about generations and people blaming other generations for things, I think you can definitely blame certain generations for like policies and things like that that have affected the environment poorly or like certain laws that have messed things up like prohibition and things like that um, uh, without getting into politics or anything. Um, but... Still, uh, we live in a world that is today. Like we have to, we gotta make choices that change it on our own if we can. <laughs> the reality is most of us don't have much say other than our own individual lives. But that doesn't mean you can't. Oh man, I'm gonna run right over somebody's doghouse here. Or maybe that's an outhouse. Apologies in advance. Have you tried the Dawn 71? I have not. Uh, I have not tried that. Oh, that's rough. Okay, this seems like trying to take a non-road is causing me mild issues. That's part of the fun of this, though. Uh, I'm blazing my own trail. I probably should have just run right down the river. Knowing the Azov, we probably would have made it just fine. Oh, but look at that, though. <laughs> we did make it easy. Oh, yeah, easy. <laughs> some of you guys have some really weird opinions about this, as I, unless you're just joking, which is very likely. Oh, that's deep. Goodness. 
get out of there. <laughs> that, is, that is shockingly deep. Brian, I definitely saw your comment. No need to, no need to spam it. <clears throat> Didn't want to talk about uh, that stuff too much. And I am noticing that there is a dump truck for dump truck thing over here. And I have no hitch on the back of my truck to pick this up with. <laughs> Which is really unfortunate and I probably should have thought about that. But that is really cool. We have actually found the thing that we need to get. And um, the problem is that how the heck do I get it back without the North Bridge? So I should probably do the North Bridge. <laughs> Okay, North Bridge, and then and then this, because I don't see us driving this down the river. Um, we probably could. I mean, why don't we just drive it down the river? Hold on a minute. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking with some bad ideas that I have. The very often bad ideas. Um, let's uh, let's accept this quest though, uh, or start tracking it. I should say. Um, we're supposed to be able to hook onto this trailer, which it now has physics, but obviously I can't because I don't have the right hitch for it. So what we're going to do instead is hook on the trailer. Um, oh, where there it is via the winch. Um, and then I'll pull that tight, and then we will just drive with the trailer. Oh, it's lifting me in the air. We'll just drive with the trailer here just quickly. I'm gonna end up knocking it over. Okay, that's a bad idea. <laughs> let me go get the uh, let me go get the thing. Okay, we probably need the uh, saddle low, I believe. Oh no, I don't know if that's a heavy semi-trailer or a regular semi-trailer. Oh man. Well, let's go. Let's try it anyways. I'm using the ace off now because, I don't know, it's just really strong. That's a really strange way of towing a gooseneck. Yeah, um, saddle high. Is it? Please, please tell me for sure, because I'm going to end up driving all the way there and then having to jump back. Saddle high. Thank you. I will get that sorted out here. It seems like a heavy trailer, but um, yeah, that's something I've never been able to do. Hey, thanks for joining in, Baja Blast. I appreciate it. If you guys are wrong, though, about the saddle high, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of the loading crane. Goose is high. It's saddle low. No, no. Everybody's conflicting me now. <laughs> I'm going to go with... Wait, I got high on there. I'm going to go with... Uh... Oh, okay. We're going high, and then we will go low if low is the right one after after all. What time is it over there? I think it's, it's 7.35 or so, somewhere around there. I had to check my watch. It is, um, yeah. Trial and error seems to be the, the way that we do things around here. Oh, that's some error, as an example. Significant error. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> 735 EST see that that would make sense my plan here is dumb but I think it could be fun oh that's rough I want to grab this quest as well while I'm thinking about it just while I have it uh, north bridge Basically, it's supposed to be a shortcut, but I'm going to kind of treat it as a uh, an optional objective. <laughs> I mean, it is optional, but um, we don't necessarily have to do it. With 
pristine Azov power, we can basically just drive this entire thing anyway, most likely. That's really sketchy, an angle there. Oh, that's really sketchy. Is there nothing I can winch to? Oh. There we go, submarine mode activate. <laughs> It's no, it's low because the regular gooseneck without the cat has saddle low. Oh man! Well, if I end up having to do this twice, I'm actually going to switch trucks and uh, get over to um, the uh, Taiga. I think it's a little bit faster. It's maybe not as submersible, but it is quite uh, quite a good one. And I'm hoping that this isn't quite as deep as it seems. Um, because this does indeed seem to be pretty deep. However, I'm hoping to discover... Oh, man. I'm concerned now. I'm worried. Okay, well, hold on a minute. Hold, hold on. Switch to this slightly less submersible switch to well it has a saddle low on it let's use this <clears throat> and then i'm gonna do what's called a uh, pro gamer move here and i'm gonna check the uh, trailer as i probably should have many moons ago i keep saying that phrase i have no idea why generator maintenance trailer log trailer service Gooseneck trailer is indeed a low. There you go. And that's a heavy one. Okay, when in doubt, it's definitely a low. Where are the big tires? Who needs big tires? Come on now. I don't think I have them unlocked. Um, I don't remember exactly where I was last time I was uh, using this. Okay, we're just going straight down and you can see the snorkel on this one is right there uh, so the dangerous water level alert can well it's going to come up a little bit more often um, the azov one is way on the top of the truck which means that uh, yeah it's um, a little bit more well it's a little bit easier to contend with in terms of digging in the water like i'm doing uh, however we should be okay to just kind of crawl our way through all of this, literally everything. <clears throat> yeah, no, this is fair and balanced. Um, I think you're supposed to run down this way. Uh, <laughs> that's my excuse, okay, that's my excuse. <clears throat> it might actually be faster just to take the land, actually. Instead of trying to go through that person's house as I was before. Hey, thank you uh, for watching from Germany. Oh no. Yeah, you know, I don't think I'm going to tactically glitch myself over to the other side. That doesn't seem uh, exactly fair and balanced here. I think um, we're going to really struggle with this next bit. Um, <laughs> trying to do this without crossing the bridge uh, is going to be nearly impossible, probably impossible. Uh, but I think that's just kind of fun fastest truck in the game I have no idea probably one of the small ones unless the gearing on one of these big ones is just weird which is entirely possible ok 
Okay, so the way that we're supposed to do this is to drag that trailer over this way, cross the bridge, and then uh, drop it off in here. But I'm proposing a different solution, which is drive it across the river um, and then possibly lose it in the river, possibly also have to recover it. But I think recovering it will be the fun part, uh, as I see that as an, an inevitability at this point. Um, somebody asking me to do a wheelie? Do you know what the game this is? <laughs> I mean, I guess. This is not a this is not a speed game here. It is about being slow. Low and slow is how this game goes. Or better yet, high and slow. You definitely want to be relatively high unless you're driving one of those scouts uh, that is just far far too high. Boom! That looks like an attachment to me. Okay, so we actually have this trailer, uh, which is holding a... Assuming to be a new uh, one of the things that we're also going to be getting. And it is a very low trailer. Or it is a very low trailer, so we are not going to have an easy time here. <clears throat> the BM-17 at 91 kilometers an hour. Wow, that is shockingly slow. Uh, you wish you could play this game. School computer from 1992. I don't know. The thing with the uh, 1992. Oh man, what Windows would that even be? The earliest Windows that I was using back in the day was Windows 95. And even then it was outdated. Uh, back when I was in school, uh, elementary school specifically, we had uh, Windows XP. Everything was Windows XP. Oh no. Winch. Oh wow. We were like shockingly close to getting onto one of those poles, but not close enough. I'm gonna have to pull a, a maneuver here. I.e. put it back into low. Nice and slow. <clears throat> Winch from here to here, and hope for the best. Are we stuck on a rock? Is that what this is? Did I not get the high-powered winch? <laughs> oh no, I didn't get the high-powered winch on this truck. Oh man, that was dumb. And yes, we were stuck on a rock. Uh, the tiniest rocks in this game will upset you entirely. It's uh, very unfortunate. <laughs> Okay, what I think I'm going to do here is just have that winch on. I don't really think this is going to work. Um, however, I'm feeling like I don't have a choice. Uh, oh, wow. We've high-centered it. <clears throat> this entire rig is currently balanced on one of these tipping points. Oh yeah, no, this is, that is a very, very deep water hole. <laughs> I have absolutely high centered it, which is um, fine. I don't think the hitch would actually be able to stay at that angle we just got there, but we're not too concerned about that. Ditch that thing completely and just try my best to get through the rest of this. As long as we don't take any slopes that are bad like that again, then we should be fine. Oh, this is a tricky one, isn't it? Okay, let's go for a winch off the back. To uh, that tree is just gonna fall over. How are we doing on the far, far back? I mean, we're relatively close. Um, yeah, that's not too, too bad. <laughs> basically I'm angling the trailer even more but as long as it gets around this come on come on off-road trailer mod <clears throat> see the trailers in this game are not uh, not made to go off-road 
Do autoflex use snowrunner mods? No, I do not use snowrunner mods. <clears throat> not at the moment, at least. I mean, I might consider getting some strangely OP stuff just to combat the uh, slowness of this game. <clears throat> it is a much better streaming game than it is a uh, video making game, though, I gotta say. Like, if I mess up in a video or something, it costs me... It cost me a lot more time to go back and try and fix it. Um, back when I was making videos, that was kind of my big frustration. You know what? We actually might need to go get a rescue already. I didn't think it was going to come to this, but... Uh, this is, like, very thoroughly stuck. Even driving into the winch. Mm, never mind, never mind. Come on, come on. One of the, like, the easiest way you can multiply your power, I guess, is by driving into the winch, and then you're using your winch power and your truck power at the same time. However, um, oh, we're out of the hole. Okay, next hole. It's gonna be this one. Much, much worse. And I think I've high-centered it again. Dang it. These trees are not particularly strong, so um, it's a good thing they have all these light posts. This is probably not going to go well. Oh, come on. Nope. <laughs> there is a strong tree there. Man, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We have we have other trucks. I I mean I have a lot of trucks, so if we just pop over to the map real quick Go to the garage, hop in the garage, pull out um hmm. This thing doesn't work too well in water, does it? But I think it's a time that I tried it. Uh, I think what we can do as well is we can get rid of the um, stuff that's on it. We'll keep the truck repair, but we don't need the crane or anything. Just the bare frame, and we'll see if we can't just go over there and grab that. <clears throat> oh, it's a modded truck. Um, see, I... Uh, Again, I, don't, I was just joking about the mod stuff. I don't think I'm actually going to use any mods at this point. Um, basically, I brought this back because some people were interested in me playing it again, and I thought that that would be, um, I thought it would be fun. And this truck is shockingly quick. I did not expect it to be this fast. Uh, DLC trucks apparently a little bit strong. Just a bit of a history with this game. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's really bad. Oh no, come on. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna end up screwing the truck immediately. <laughs> no. Yeah, I just broke the engine. I can't believe it. Okay, this one doesn't have a snorkel. That was an absolute failure. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna switch that for one that I know works, and then um, we'll be using this instead. I guess that's the huge drawback of that truck. Like, it's fast, it can get the super wide wheels, it's an 8x8, but it does not have... Uh, it just doesn't have the right off-road capability that I'm looking for, where you can literally just drive into the lake and not take any damage, which is exactly what this thing has, and so that's why I'm gonna go do it. See, I know that the bridge is the right way to go here, but um, I'm attempting to do it without. I, I know that's not smart. It's probably going to take me the rest of this entire stream, which will probably be around an hour or so, just to do this. Just to do this. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Alright, Azov, let's do this. See, this is what a real snorkel is about. Um, cockpit view not available underwater. 
No, that's that's the real deal. You know, back when this game came out, I was actually well, I was I was um fortunate enough to get this copy of uh, of it for for review. Um Yeah, no, I didn't build a bridge yet. Uh, but I was I was fortunate enough to get this copy for review, and uh, I never thought it would turn into a full series. I thought it was just going to be a video, but I liked the game so much that I decided to turn it into the series that you see, but also keep playing it like this. It's definitely, um, I don't know, like this, this game is a ton of fun. See, Sean's repairs and reviews, uh, I don't play Snowrunner the right way. I have like... 48 hours in this game or something like that uh, but that doesn't mean that I'm playing it correctly <laughs> and apparently I got this truck stuck too who would have thought at least we have strong trees around here <laughs> no it's a good thing I have this on the epic game store I don't have it on I, mean, I don't think it's on anything else at the moment but um, Yeah, it's fortunate that it tracks my... Oh, wow, that was interesting. <laughs> but it's fortunate that it tracks the time I've spent with it, because it's cool to see. Anyway, there's the truck. Just hanging out. Let's go grab it. Or at least attempt to. Basically, I'm going to winch to it and try my best to pull it off of its current rut. And then we're going to attempt to... <laughs> possibly make a ridiculous chain of heavy vehicles and maybe, just maybe, have that trailer permanently washed down the river just because I find it fun. Showcase... Oh, okay. That's good. Um, I don't know when we're going to do the actual showcase stream. Um, that'll be interesting. Okay, I'm going to use myself as a winch point for this truck and just attempt to pull it off of its current position, which I have been able to do. Yeah, don't don't worry. I'm playing this on uh, I'm playing this on PC. Uh I'm not super concerned about breaking this other truck. I mean, worst case scenario, we can just recover it. Ooh, I probably should have brought the collab. Or lav. <laughs> Alright, attempt two. This is going to be the uh, the real, real pull here. I'm going to try and pull it from the side. And, I mean, if that doesn't work, then, then we're going to have to try a different approach. Snatch on right there, and... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, that was completely unintentional. <laughs> um... Yeah, that was not smart. Hold on a sec. Switch, switch. <laughs> I've still hide-centered the trailer. It's, so, it's totally stuck right there. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. I have I have an idea. We're just burning fuel in the other truck. I'm gonna lift up on the back of the trailer and um, force myself into this rock, which is not quite what I want. But ooh, anyway, we'll be here for a while. No, don't worry about that. Go, go, go. It's just gonna run right into a tree. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that we can if we can keep this up. If we can keep this moving. <laughs> this is the train of despair, okay? This is absolute despair. I have a new idea.
Oh no, I know that I can disconnect the trailer. Um, I might end up having to do that, but I'm trying to avoid it. Uh, it. Like, the truck isn't actually stuck, it's just the trailer that is indeed stuck. Um, so if I roll the trailer here, then... Um, apologies in advance. But... I'm gonna try this. Come on now, double double pulling power right at the source. That's not gonna do it. Um, we'll release that and then maybe try pulling. Mm. Oh, it's getting dark, isn't it? I'm gonna skip the uh, to the afternoon again just to make it easier for us to see. trailer with Azov. See, the problem is that uh, I have a high thing on the on this instead of a low. <clears throat> Push from behind. <laughs> interesting suggestions. Interesting. Azov power. Speed, power, and unfortunately, oh, is it moving at all? I think it is slightly moving. Hmm, yeah, it is very mildly, oh, I got it, oh, I got it, thank goodness. Okay, wow, okay. That took a little bit of time, but I finally did it. Finally broke it free of that terrible disaster that is the one bump that tends to beach us. But now we have some more unfortunate disasters to go through, including but not limited to all of this. <laughs> Which is not going to be particularly easy. At least there are some trees though. I think I should be able to make it through. Okay, come on. Come on, I got a bit complacent there for a second. We were making progress, which was nice. Do you have a cat seven? No, I do not have any cats, actually. I think I've only got... Um... No, I haven't actually bought any of the cats at all. You may want to... Yeah, don't worry, I will eventually get uh, proper upgrades for trucks and stuff. Um, this is not going the greatest. At least I can safely say that we're not high centered. That's the, that's the bonus here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Azov past this obstacle through the means of a very strong winch. And then I'm going to attempt to pull the other truck through using, again, the means of a thoroughly strong winch. And we'll hope for the best. There's a free cat in Alaska. I might have gotten it and sold it. That is a definite possibility. You'd have to watch my old series on it to, to find it. Okay, okay. <laughs> This is going interestingly. Uh, I can say that I'm at least moving forwards. The progress is, is uh, progress is uh, obtainable, maybe. I seem to be picking that truck up out of the water, which is exactly the opposite of what I'm attempting to do. I have an idea though. It's called uh, use the other truck's winch to winch itself. Turn off the handbrake as well. Hopefully that wasn't on this whole time. Oh, 
yeah, this trailer is stuck in the mud. Look at that. That is deep. This is not gonna go... as planned. What I can do is I can also go get some more huge stuff, uh, which is, again, a, a possibility. What I think I might try is winching from the back of the trailer to this tree here. Just kind of rotating the wheels back and forth on the um, taiga. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hold on a sec. Hold on a minute now. I sense forward progress. I sense some movement. <laughs> Hold on a second. It's getting super hot in my room. My office. There we go. Before I before I die. Holy. There we go. Okay, back to the back to the the struggle. Back to the pain and, and potential misery of, of SnowRunner. But also the fun part. I kinda like I intended to get stuck on purpose, I just didn't think it would be this bad. Because these trucks are both really good, but um Yeah, we're uh we're deep in the mud now. If I can get this truck over this little pit, I might have a better chance at it. Oh, oh, that's good. That's real good. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. This to this, I think might be the best way to go. And it is. Okay, how the heck am I going to get this trailer through the water? That's going to be the interesting part of this. It's not really a fuel issue or anything like that. It's literally just a, this trailer is so low. It would be better to transport this stuff via helicopter uh, when, when the bridge is out. You have to max level to unlock it. That's, um, that is no easy feat. Uh... I'm definitely not max level. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we can try with the A's off. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Thank goodness for progress. Keep it nice and slow. Pull that trailer through. Okay, good. Now we just gotta do the tough part, which is this piece up here. And also I'm stuck again. Ah, oh, how did this happen? The wheels of the trailer must have gotten stuck. Every bit that I move forward is is a good good step though. Every every small piece. I'm trying to trying to be positive. I'm thinking if we go over this way, unfortunately we're probably going to high center up here, uh, which is going to make it more difficult. <laughs> Again, as, as you would suspect. But if I winch up close and I pull myself very mildly to the left, I'm hoping I can reach a little bit more solid of ground. Oh, that's pretty... I mean, it's pretty solid. <laughs> I'm 
but it's not enough. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is switch over trucks again. This is, um, this is taking some time, but, oh yeah, you can see that the trailer is high-centered. Very, very thoroughly high-centered, in fact. That is probably the most high-centering we've seen so far. Um, so much so that the back of the truck is not even really on the ground. <laughs> so most of this winching is going to have to be done via the trailer. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of have to hope for the best. <laughs> oh, do I have the premium edition? Yeah, I do. Um, your transmission would be strawberry ice cream. Yeah, don't worry about it. This is uh, this is a game. Let's um. Oh, actually, you can winch up to this big piece of metal. I mean, realistically, you probably couldn't winch to a tree like that and expect it to support a load of, of this magnitude, but that's not really what this game is about. Yeah, I am, like... You see that big drop there? <laughs> not doing me any favors. Um, I'm just going to bust out of here with this. This trailer makes the Azov... Or, sorry, the Taiga look like it's a weakling. Like, it makes it look incompetent. But it is a good truck. TUZ420? I don't know what that is. Um, I might have it. I don't know. I have... I don't have all the DLC trucks. Um, if that's what you're asking. Man, how the heck am I going to do this? <laughs> I think one of the solutions I'm, I'm dreaming up here is... Um, oh, it's the tank thing? I don't think I have the tank. Um, yeah, I got the wrong saddle. Ooh, that's working. That is definitely working. Come on, Azov. Come on. Oh... Oh, yes. Oh, I did it. Oh, my goodness, I did it. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I'm honestly shocked that that worked. <laughs> Genuinely shocked. Okay, we're going to switch back to this. I'm going to hook it back up to the trailer um, the best that I can too far <laughs> I guess I could use that as a bit of a hack if I needed to this quest is probably supposed to be a lot easier than what I'm making it but uh, yeah don't don't worry <laughs> did I just get it stuck again oh no Azov, come and help me, please. This this truck is just really, really good. Uh, thankfully, saving me from from this, and hopefully saving me from this as well. That bump there in particular is not looking very friendly. Wasn't there another way to go? Yes, there absolutely is another way to go, and I am not really doing it. Uh, you're supposed to go across a bridge, but I have chosen to uh, ignore the bridge for the sake of challenging myself, and um, so far it's 
gone is about, about as well as you would suspect. We have moved from the resting spot of this thing, which was over here, to here, and it has been like at least half an hour just working on this one objective. Probably more. I mean, the good part about it is if I need another truck, I can just go here and grab it, but like you're supposed to have this bridge, which I don't at the moment. I might just get it though. Hey, we're kind of too far down. See, I thought I was being uh, creative, but in the end, I um, have now got all my trucks stuck. And uh, if I was playing a game of no recovery, then this would be a disaster. Absolute disaster. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I'm going to attempt to get it across the river. Against my better judgment, I've set that goal for myself. And, uh... I might eventually end up building the bridge, but we're kind of at the point now where um, that wouldn't really help very much. <laughs> because if I was going to build the bridge, then I have to pull it back here, which this was a disaster to get through. And then I would have to take it the rest of the way, which is relatively easy. Um, is it this metal framing right here? <laughs> oh, please no. Okay, hold on. I have. I'm. I'm gonna bring over backup just just in case. This is this is my just in case backup here. This thing is um, extremely strong, as you would likely suspect. And uh, it can only have a saddle high, which is not ideal for this. But um, for the sake of this mission and just for the fun of it, I, uh, I kind of just want to do this. And what I might do is I might build a bridge just specifically so I can... It's okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna reset the mission. At least not yet. If I get the trailer like stuck stuck, then I'll reset the mission. But this is a uh, this is a big lad, and I'm hopeful that it'll it'll do a little bit better here. Uh, maybe I can use it to pull. Um, hopefully, I can use it to pull. Definitely wouldn't be bad to get a bit of uh, XP from that bridge, though. We'll do that eventually. All-wheel drive. We'll keep the diff lock on when we need it. This thing does have a snorkel, so we shouldn't have any issues in the water. That being said, it is currently displaying dangerous water level. No, stay with me, stay with me. Stay with me. Oh, okay, good. Just just a little bit of danger there, just a, just a touch of danger. <laughs> yeah, you don't see a big rig like this floating in the water too often, but... Uh, There we go. We should have no problem with this terrain with something this massive. As long as we keep it slow, then we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be good. I w see. That's the thing I was hoping. I was like, you know what? This could be fun if I try and cross the river with this. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to attempt to do. As bad an idea as it is, I know. But see, the thing is, I know it's a bad idea. <laughs> that's the that's the trick. Sometimes, like I don't know. For me, this game is a lot about just kind of having fun and doing stupid stuff like this. Like when I, in one of the videos I made where I crossed the entire Michigan map with the Azov just underwater, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> and that's not how you're supposed to play the game, but that's just how I choose to. Uh, okay, welcome back to Disaster Land over here. Um, let me get the Azov out of the way. I might go put a low saddle on the Azov, and then uh, we will come back with it, I think. But we'll, um, we'll attempt this first. Just try and get this off out of the way. Oh, that is rough. Okay. 
Switch to Taiga, and then we're back in business. Let's go low range. Can't stay in high forever. Ooh, there it is. There it is. I'm going to try to avoid dropping into that mud pit, although I can tell you right now that's not going to go in entirely as planned. Am I filming in 4K? No, I film in uh, 2K, but I am streaming in... Um, I'm streaming in 1080. It should be 1080. It might be 2K, I don't know. I forgot my stream settings, actually, as dumb as that sounds. Okay, we're going to directly go towards the winch just to make progress. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, now is the time when we bring out the um, stream is 1080. Okay, that's what I figured. I don't like streaming at 2K generally just because, uh, well, it's a little bit too much uh, for my internet. I haven't tested it in my current house though. I have not been to any other parts of this map other than just kind of driving around a little bit to see what there was to explore. Basically I am just trying to commit this atrocity over here first uh, before getting anywhere else. When I saw that this truck was um, something that I could get, I kind of got excited and now I'm here. Um, and now I'm here. Very, very much here. I think I've already broken, I already broke one truck in the, in the pursuit of this happiness. Ooh, it's hard to get big wheels spinning like this. Come on game, let me have this one. Just let me have it. Big diff lock. <laughs> oh, come on. If we can't pull this through with this much towing power, then we are very thoroughly screwed. Oh. oh, don't flip now. Don't you flip. Come on, don't flip. Don't do it. Don't you do it. It's doing it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. We're getting to the point where I'm just hovering now. Um. <laughs> this, is, this is going so well. Off to the right. Come on, it's getting dark. Okay, hold on. Afternoon again, we need to be able to see what's going on. Yes! Go! Give it everything, come on! I might need to pull that old trick again where I just kind of skip the middleman. I am trying my best. Hold on a minute. Hmm. Let's um let's switch back to the taiga. Then we're gonna drop the trailer. Oh the trailer. No 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 no. Oh, it didn't detach. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Did I just screw the quest? Because it apparently It seems to not be having any problems. That is, um, that is a real unfortunate. If the dream is dead, then I'm just gonna do it the right way. But if it's not dead, I'm gonna continue on my crusade of stupidity. Okay. Oh, so apparently, I might have, t I might have just screwed it. <laughs> uh, I didn't I didn't think it would just die when it flipped off the truck like that. I really thought I would be able to be okay. Let's go winch from here to uh here. See, I can fix this, guys. Look at that.
That's what I call fixing. Oh, come on. Okay, so I can minorly fix it. Um, I think, I, yeah, I'm probably going to have to use the uh, giant lad to pull it. And that's probably going to be the only way I do it. Well, it's been a good run, trailer. <clears throat> Not done with you yet. Wrong truck. There we go. Oh, okay, apparently this is easier to pull it on its side. Who would have thought? <laughs> if I can get it over here, I can probably just winch it with the A's off. Um, but what the heck, like... Did I just... Have I just figured out an exploit in the game or something here? Is this thing just so ridiculously powerful you can pull trailers on their side the whole way back? I guess that might just be the case. Look at this. It's gonna correct itself. Okay, it might correct itself. Let me flip it back over before I finish this. Change to Azoth and... We gotta start it up for the winch. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Okay, goodness. Um, stop that engine. Switch to this. Get this thing over here, because the next step is not going to be particularly fun or interesting. Um, let me see if I can just grab this. And I can. Okay. But immediately it sinks it into the ground. <clears throat> oh well. Let's um. Let's just jump over to not this one, but this one. And just attempt to pull it the rest of the way, because now I'm a little bit more confident that I can do this. I, I'm a little bit more confident. Um, I think I got this, guys. I I really do think I have this. If I can make it this way, then then. Uh, I don't know what else I can accomplish, but I'm doing things wrong, and it's working out. <laughs> it looks like there are tracks there to get up on the rock, but I'm going to not do that, because it doesn't seem like a great idea. I'm going to instead um, attempt to cross just by running through the river right around here somewhere using these two trucks. Um, hopefully this one doesn't break. If it does, that's fine. We'll just recover. But, uh, yeah, we also have the Azov kicking around over there, just just in the background, just in case. <laughs> I have seen some of uh, Twin Turbo's streams, um, and I have seen his cat made outfit thing. Uh, as I understand it, it's a donation goal, but that's also hilarious. I, um... I think I talked about it one more time, or one one other time, on his stream. Okay, big boy, let's go. <laughs> Unrelated note, this is going to be interesting. This truck might just not make it, because it is a, a big one. Um, it's possible as well that we get stuck on some rocks. Although this bottom is not a muddy bottom, so I was kind of hoping that we would be able to make this without too many issues. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance myself a little bit. If I can. Oh yeah, it turns out that I was stuck. Okay. <laughs> Get the Western Star Twin Steer. I have, I had the Twin Steer and I ended up selling it. Um,
Okay, so this is, I mean, obviously we're fighting the current now, so it's a little bit more difficult, but um, as long as that thing still moves forward, then my job here is getting done. And my plan still remains get to the other side as best that I can. And would you look at that? Uh, oh, come on. Okay, the only thing I have here is a dead tree to latch on to. <laughs> The twin steer is pretty strong, but it is just way, way too long. That is its main problem. It's just way too big um, to be useful. <laughs> it's massive, which is fun, but it's also just way too massive. See, I feel like I'm pulling out all the stops here uh, to make this thing work, but it is not quite responding in the way that I had hoped. How's the G35 coming? I actually just put out an update today. Um, I hope that you guys are interested in the continued um, stuff that's going on there. So, uh, let's get this thing back up on the land. I totally forgot about diff lock. There we go. Oh, you saw the update? Yeah. So basically, welder is um, is the new the new thing for me. I'm hoping to be able to weld. Obviously, I'm not gonna just instantly start welding stuff on my car. <laughs> I I think some people kind of assume that that's what my plan was, but yeah, my hope is a little bit easier, and maybe uh maybe a little bit less than that. I'm just hoping to learn how to do that as I also work on the car. My goal at this point is to fabricate um, as much as I can. And obviously that means I need to learn how to weld, so we'll see. <clears throat> F750. Yeah, I saw that. When it came out, I got pretty excited. I was like, oh geez, no. <laughs> I need to get one of those. Yeah, you can see that the, um, <laughs> it's really suffering down there. It is not having a good time of this. Okay, I think maybe, yeah, yeah, we'd have to go into the map to get the, um, <laughs> to grab the, uh, ace off at this point. <clears throat> I'm just going to bring it over there just for fun, just to have another winch point. You're waiting for gaming vids? Yeah, no, I, I've been trying to stream every Tuesday evening, but it's um, not, not always the case. I mean, I skipped last week. I think I mentioned earlier in the stream just because I was getting a wisdom tooth removed, <laughs> which is kind of a big deal. Um, so it made sense to skip, but yeah, I'm trying to trying to do the best that I can to stream once a week. Okay, let's um let me drop the trailer again. Um, the reason that I have to drop the trailer is because we're just floating in the air. Floating, haha. Oh man, we're really close to the. Uh, we're so close to the end. So darn close, but still far enough away. I'm going to get this thing completely out of the way. I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm going to recover it and uh, switch back over to the Azov. Obviously, we have no way to properly tow this trailer right now, but I... Um, Okay, I'm just pulling it into a rock. <laughs> I'm hoping uh, that by not having a truck in the way that I should be able to do a little bit better. This trailer is not supposed to be in the uh, in the water, by the way. <laughs> it is not supposed to be here um, at all. 
That's fine, though. Am I going to be able to battle the current to get it through? <laughs> Only time will tell. <laughs> Come on. We need a winch chain here. We need all the winches I can get. It must be stuck on something. Like, is it just sitting on the rock bed or something? It's very, uh, very likely. All this just to get a free cat. <laughs> is it worth it? Uh, depends. Depends. Okay, let's recover this. I'm going to pull out my uh, strategy that I haven't tried yet, which is um, slap a saddle low on, on the, uh, the old days off, jump back out, and attempt to do exactly what I was doing, uh, except using this instead. Yeah, this is going, this is going pretty well so far. Uh, beautiful, uh, I gotta say, beautiful. <laughs> it's too bad that new truck has such a crap snorkel on it. Oh, I know I could have done this easily, but that's uh, that's just part of the deal. I may just build this bridge just to get it done. Oh, the crane, yeah, no, the crane could definitely be a thing. If I need to, I will go get a crane. Um, and lift the trailer up. <laughs> now this is a sight to behold though. This is this is worth the, the pain and the effort. <laughs> oh, and that rock right there. That is not going to be good for us. My goal basically is to go in between these two rocks. So kind of just up on an angle. And then once we get up on the road, we should be should be good. Oh, I'm here for the cat. They, uh, they give you this cat. Not the one on the trailer, but the one that's in the yard once you finish this quest. So that's my, uh, that's my goal here. True, the trailer can't be stuck if it's flying in the air because of a uh, unfortunate mishap with the crane involving it being pinged over the map. Um, Let's hope it doesn't get to that, but uh, yeah, no, I can definitely lift up the back end of it with a crane. If it comes to that, then I definitely will try. And if somehow we can't get this done in the next 20 minutes, which is looking like that's the case, I may have to pack it up and just say, well, <laughs> next week. Next week we try. Ah, uh, you know what, we can go for half an hour. Well, thanks for joining Sean's Repairs and Reviews. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just having trouble turning this around. That's that's the kind of difficulty we're at right now. Let's change over to this because it's very thoroughly in the way. Come on now. Get out of the way. You know you're too good for me. If we can get it over here, then we're pretty much land... <laughs> Whoops, sorry. We're pretty much home free. Um, <laughs> Good luck, luck lifting it with the crane tipping. See, these are the things that I, that I worry about. Um... <laughs> They keep me up at night. If I've got this permanently stuck here in the river, then uh, it might just stay there. Uh, it might it might end up just living there for now. Maybe it'll even float down the river. That'd be interesting. Let's use a tactical advantage I like to call mildly glitching the trailer over this way, because it appears to be stuck. Um, Oh, that looks like, or looked like movement for a second there. And winch. And pull. And hopefully. Oh, come on. We must be stuck on a rock. <laughs> it's given it everything it has. Now we're high centered again. That's the bane of existence with this trailer. 
Okay, new plan. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna attempt to pull the trailer so it kind of moves to the angle that the Azov is on instead of just being stuck in the water there. Fighting this current is not really doing anything good, is it? <laughs> As you see, oh geez, that's not. Is this thing stuck? Uh, mildly. Okay, there we go. Yeah, when's Water Runner coming out? I uh, I think I might be a good beta tester. Going into. Oh my goodness, I forgot the turning circle on this is literally the moon. Um, we are going to... Well, my idea was, and I don't know how strong an idea that is, that was or is, but uh, I want to try and turn this around so I can get on with that. Because this thing can't do diff locks in reverse, as far as I can tell. This... Oh, okay, never mind, it will do diff locks in reverse, but you have to be in the reverse gear. Either way... If we hit this from the front, it'll be a little bit easier. Back into low. And forwards, in low range, diff lock on. And then hopefully, I can use this angle to pull the trailer just a little bit to the side, because this thing weighs like 5 million tones. I thought the trailer was on fire or something there, but it's just the water bouncing off of it. Man, oh man. That would be bad. That would be real bad. I've already flipped this trailer once and it didn't lose its load, so whoever packed it, my goodness, beautiful job. Okay, new plan is to turn around here as well and then pull from the back. Um, do vehicles overheat? No, they actually don't. Um, not unless you crash into something. Get into get into reverse. There we go. You can see the engine on this one is mildly damaged. Um, yeah, they do, they do damage the all-wheel drive and diff, but again, that only happens when you hit a rock or something. That's kind of just how this game is. It's, not a, it's obviously not a full simulation, but um, it's pretty darn good. Okay, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Keep pulling, and I should be able to free the trailer. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's working. It's totally working. Look at that movement. I'm seeing so much movement. Okay, that was good. That was a good start. Now if we pull off to the side again here. I am uh, I'm getting thoroughly excited by this, by the way, now that we're finally breaking free. Yes. Oh my goodness, get off that rock. It's the last thing I do. Turns out pulling right from the side like this is um, not actually bad. Surprisingly good, in fact. Uh, getting dark again. Skip over to the afternoon. <laughs> Sorry for the sudden light changes, by the way. I think it's the rocks underwater that are getting me at this point. Um, they're even getting this truck, which is just a giant beast, so if they can stick this, they can stick pretty much anything. However... Oh, hold on a minute. And I keep hitting the horn when I go for the parking brake, because I'm thinking beam NG. Let's go like this. 
winch here. Oh, I got nothing. Okay, I'm going to turn this mildly to the side, low range. And just see if I can't just get over to a place where I can winch onto the like wood that's over there. Oh, it's gone. I guess I crushed it or something. Okay, this is this is slowly gonna work because now with this truck, all wheel drive, diff lock on, I should be able to just pull this all the way through here. With enough patience, obviously. Patience, kindness, goodness, crying, lots of crying. But if we can be on land... There we go, there we go. Winch it up, and... Apparently just spin. <laughs> no. Okay, we don't even have the trailer in the in the real water yet. It's definitely moving. It's just not going anywhere. <laughs> it's not going anywhere quick. That's that's for darn sure. Come on, Azov, give me everything you got now. I'm holding the wheels uh or was holding the wheels to the side. Specifically because it just lets me, um... It just lets me be stuck here. 2070? I... I would hope so. I have a 2080 Ti, I can run this game no problem. <clears throat> Wait, what, you boosted Steel server and it... <laughs> you can't... Oh my goodness. Wait, by steel you mean Canadian steel? Or uh, I guess he's Cyclone, the outsider now. This game is definitely demanding if you're... If you're... Uh, if you're PC strapped, you're not going to be able to run it. That's for darn sure. Oh, I think I just freed the truck a little bit. Now I'm seeing some movement, let's go! Yes! <laughs> yeah, no, I, I definitely do the same thing. I keep mixing up and calling him Canadian Steel. Uh, but yeah, Cyclone the Outsider. That's his new name. But by the way, guys, can you see what's happening right now? Uh, other than the game glitching because I'm interacting with a bridge. Uh, I'm almost across... <laughs> I'm almost across this river with this jank setup. I'm stuck on a rock though. I'm real stuck on a rock. Okay, I think I might be in my it might be in my best interest to um just move this out of the way temporarily. <laughs> freedom, not quite freedom yet, but we're darn close to freedom. And we're also running out of diesel. I'm just going to put... I keep hitting the horn again. I'm going to put the parking brake on. I'm going to jump over to the Azov because now we have winch points. Uh, handbrake off. That thing up. And strong winch points, please. We need to pivot the trailer over top of the rock that it's currently stuck on. And I think that might be our way out. Our ticket to freedom lies with that rock right there. Or maybe just out of the way of that rock right there. It's probably for the best. Something like this. Okay, if I can pull it straight with the... Uh, Collab, then I'll definitely be I'll be doing something good. 
if we lose this truck in the water, then, uh, then, yeah, no, this is just part of the deal. Just part of the deal. It is the cost of doing business when you're in the, oh, that's really deep. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get out of there. <laughs> Oh, that's not really working. I'm pulling myself more towards the truck than it moving in the direction I'd like it to go. Oh no, never mind, I got it. Come on now. That's really darn close to the end of the snorkel. That's not what you want to see on your ridiculously expensive large diesel truck. feels like it's moving, but it's probably not moving by much. We're just going under. I'm going to have to do it. Come on. We still got some damage left over. And the engine's probably broke. Okay, recover and switch to the new found um, this thing, except I'm going to put a crane on it. Um... Not the log loader, but this crane right here. Why can't I winch to the bridge? Is that even a thing? Can I winch to the bridge? This thing does not work well underwater, uh, or in water at all, but I should be able to get some good traction on land, and I'm hoping to be able to use the crane potentially to get a bit of lift on it too. Um, we'll see if that actually pans out or not. <laughs> oh, look at it in there, stuck in all its glory. Oh, wow, look at that. I'm doing the wheelie that somebody had suggested like an hour ago. <laughs> but this truck in the mud shouldn't be an issue. Uh, Alright, let's do it. Low range and heave. Heave. Give it. It's turning. Oh, it's definitely turning. Hmm. Maybe higher wheel speed is actually a good thing for us in this scenario. I'm just thinking about... Um, well, for one, there, there's almost no way that we're going to get over all these rocks. That's going to be... That's going to be a disaster in the making. I don't know how the heck I'm going to do that. We'll probably end up having to grab the, um... Oh, that's a bridge. That's a bridge. Okay, this thing. Every time. <laughs> I always struggle with this truck for some reason. I didn't even get a chance to whip out the crane on it. Darn. Heavy crane. That's what we want. That's what we get. Disaster piece. I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> you notice how much this thing dipped when I put a heavy crane on it? That is exactly what we need in this scenario. Heavy and something that can be uh, moved. Please don't fall in the ditch. Okay. Every time I cut that corner, I get worried. Every single time. Alright, so it's way out there in the middle of nowhere, which calls for immediate assistance from the crane truck. Oh, I just backed into a pole. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no, this is... 
this is going real well so so well very well controlled don't worry about it if we back up with this thing on am i even going to be able to escape the answer apparently is no Entering backwards was not the best idea, I'll admit, but I was kind of hoping I could set myself up for a little bit more success. I'm having trouble believing I just got this stuck. <laughs> okay, I'm going in forwards this time. I'm going in with a plan of attack that involves moving forwards instead of backwards because backwards was a terrible idea not cutting the corner this time maybe I can take it from the other way I'm so darn close to where I want to be, though. Like, of course it had to be the last, like, little stretch. I kind of figured this would be the tough part, but I did not think it would be this tough. Not quite this tough. To the point where I'm driving... <laughs> there we go, that's what we wanted. Now, theoretically, I can use the heavy crane to... Pull this thing a little bit. Get the anchors down so we don't sink too much. Probably still gonna sink quite a bit. Oh man, that crane is difficult to use. I totally forgot how to do this. Okay, my goal here is to move this trailer slightly. <laughs> if I can not there there <laughs> okay so I'm attempting to I think what I'm doing now is lifting it's sparking <laughs> Uh oh. Is that bent? <laughs> this heavy crane is not enough. It... How is this even possible? Hmm. Oh, you got Mud Runner. Welcome to the. Uh... So, if we want to maximize torque on this, basically, what we got to do is um, <laughs> get the crane to as low as angle, get this as tight as it'll go, have it hover over that spot exactly, and then that that is pretty much the best that we can do. Other way. Then out of it. So in terms of lifting this payload, that is all we got. That, that is it. We're still attached. Uh, hold on, let me go back into crane mode. And take away the anchors. And... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> OHSA, oh my goodness, yeah, the OHSA would be on me for this. This is, uh, this is what you call a high-skill recovery. Um, at least that's what I'm deciding to call it. This thing can lift up scouts, but it cannot lift up this cargo, unfortunately.
maybe the tongue weight? If I detach it from the Azoff, I might be able to actually lift it. <laughs> oh no. Other way, other way. I'm honestly just having fun at this point. I'm not even like... This is the pulling power of the winch and the... Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm probably just going to have to try um, the old-fashioned way. Problem with that is um, we're, not no cl we're not close enough to any tree to really do what I want to do. At least not yet. Oh, that doesn't look quite right. That definitely looks like it's having issues. Being at a 90 degree angle to this is not ideal. But now we do have the option to stick it to a tree. Oh, that's some good movement. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold up. This. Wait, wrong way, wrong way. Say goodbye to that. For now. I will probably end up needing it later. And now this. Say hello to this. The one man crew. Azov is pulling through. One man crew, come on. Yes. Okay, so we made it up that far. Now, I'm actually going to back up slightly. Turn my attention over to this tree. Not that one. This one. Not that one. That one. And then pull for dear life in low. Oh, it's actually working. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're high centered again. But okay, hold on. The tr the trees have the trees have done it. The the trees have made it so that this is possible. Uh, but there's only one more thing that we have left here, and that is to bring this back and pull our newfound rig from the road over to uh, the the side. That's the only way that this is gonna go. And if I can bring it over here after all this time, wow, it was, uh, it was totally not worth it. But it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting a bit too ahead of myself. Come on, we got this. We got this. We're so close. It's, it's literally right there. I'm just going to have to turn around very carefully. Uh, All-wheel drive on, of course. I think if you boil it down, SnowRunner is the um, it's the best game at uh, simulating you destroying your like neighbor's lawn by doing a burnout. That's pretty much it. That's how I describe it. After all this time. Okay, here we go. This is this is it. This is for all the uh, all the marbles here. Oh, it won't let me lock the diffs. Uh, I gotta get out of that thing. There we go, diffs locked. This is an unforeseen consequence of the controls that I didn't realize we would run into. There we go. Connect it. Maybe that's a bit too early. Connect it. There we go. And pull. Come on, we got we've we're partially on pavement. What's the hold up now? Ooh. Well, um Hmm. Maybe a bit more on pavement. Oh, that, that did it. That definitely did it. Come on. We just have to align ourselves a little bit better with the trailer. 
I'm basically doing a very slow burnout at the moment. Um, I do have another backup strategy. Now that the trailer has gotten as far as it is, uh, we're probably going to be able to winch from the back of it. The problem with more wheel speed on this truck is um, you can't lock the diffs, so we end up getting pulled back. Okay, let's go back into the afternoon. Switch over to good old uh, Azov over here, and I'm going to take the winch from the back of the trailer to our friendly neighborhood tree, which is this one. Um, take off the parking brake, obviously. In some ways I appreciate that that goes on, but in other ways it's a big pain. Low range. Pull the trailer free from its grip on whatever the heck it's gripped onto. There we go. And next winch point will be from here to there. Come on, trailer, come on. I'm literally just trying to rotate it off of the high point that it's on because it's, it's high centered at the moment. Okay, something that we can do as well, every single time we've done this, it's um, worked reasonably well. If I winch onto this from here, yeah, that's, that's a little bit easier, because I'm not taking the weight of the truck as well. I guess that's how the physics calculates it. But I should be able to unhigh center it. Come on now. Last time I did this with the big guy over there. Maybe I'll give it another try. Move this lad out of the way and we'll bring in the big lad once again. <laughs> so darn close to the road though. Oh man. Okay, back in all-wheel drive. In reverse, we will um, hopefully be able to get the diff locks going. There we go. Back on the winch. From here. Low and slow. <laughs> yes, oh man, if only this thing had a low uh, hitch on it, then we could be able to pull basically anything. You'd be able to pull skyscrapers down with this, lad. Okay, I can't lock the dips because we're stuck in the cargo management thing. <laughs> oh no. Low range diff, keep them locked, and Azov is in the way, oh no. To be honest, I'm probably more surprised than you are that this worked. Uh, apparently all things are possible when you try ridiculously hard. Harder than you need to to get things done. Although that being said, it's having a lot of difficulty getting up this slope, which is not great. Is it going to be able to get past that tree?
please get past that tree, come on. Yes! <laughs> I'm pulling the A's off as well, I did not expect this to happen. Okay, what I'm going to do is we'll use our crafty abilities of uh, attaching trailers. Oh, never mind. There we go. And... We'll just pull it straight on out of there. Or I'll hook up onto this thing. And then pull on out of here. <laughs> oh man, you know, this is what this game would be like if that bridge did not exist. So I guess you can be thankful that the developers put that thing in there and made it easy to get. Uh, because I have nearly successfully completed this mission without using it. Um, and I think that's probably good. Can get rid of this one, store it, and then just jump back into the uh, this guy right here, and I think we're good. <laughs> get back on land, you. Oh man, this trailer has been through a treacherous journey, a ridiculous journey, in fact, uh, one full of peril and me getting stuck for the past two hours or so, and uh, I gotta say it was um, it was a lot of fun. And I really hope that this is the right destination. It apparently is because of the arrow. Boom. Gone. And this is mine now. <laughs> well, I gotta fix it. Oh, man. That was a... Uh... <laughs> that was a lot of effort. That was interesting. This thing apparently is lacking fuel, but if you're... I think I can change... No, I can't change to it. However... I, I want to I round this thing off. I want to round this whole quest off. By pulling this thing out of its, out of its slumber. And then over here... Oh, that Canadian flag, though. That's nice. I can't change to it, but... I should be able to quickly just slap on a uh, fuel tank. <laughs> you know, I, I did not think that that was going to work, but I'm very happy that it did. Uh, and that means that if we can refuel this, then... Uh, fuel... Boom! We did it. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> that was definitely interesting. And this thing is mine now. Apparently it doesn't have all-wheel drive. I don't know, was it worth it to get this thing? I have no idea, but we'll eventually have to try it. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, though. Thanks for sticking around for this stream. Two hours and 15 minutes in, and we finally got something cool. <laughs> Took a really long time, but uh, yeah, no, that was, that was a lot of fun. Oh, apparently this thing is DLC. I had no idea. Either way, though, um, thanks for watching, guys. See you again next time, and uh, yeah, comment on this stream. <laughs> when it comes out as a VOD and let me know what you want to see in terms of streams. I think the next one might actually be um, Need for Speed Underground 2. So we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to trying to play through that game and um, I'm hopeful to do another stream. But anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> see you guys again next time.